Starfield just got some pretty insane news, and obviously we need to talk about it. I think that we can all agree that nobody thought that we would get any new information before Starfield Direct on June 11th. But this literally just dropped like a couple of hours ago. It is quite long, so let's just go over it piece by piece. This is all coming from ESRB in their rating summary. Also, just very quickly before we get into it, I just want to warn everybody, I feel like utter crap today. I've been awake since 4am with a migraine, so if this video is not up to my usual standard, I do very much apologise for that. But of course, if you are new here and you want to stay up to date on all Starfield news, leaks, discussions, breakdowns and everything else, I have got you covered. So please do consider subscribing, it would mean the world. But let's not waste any time and just dive straight into it. Now the first part of the summary reads, This is an open world role playing game, which of course we already knew, in which players assume the role of a miner tasked with finding artifacts from across the galaxy, which yeah, okay, again, we all already knew. From first to third person perspectives, players interact with various characters, complete quests, and search for supplies like battling enemies, e.g. humans, robots, alien creatures, again more of the same stuff that we already knew, but here is where it begins to get interesting. Players use futuristic guns, axes and explosives to kill enemies. Now why is this interesting? Because they only mention one melee weapon, axes. Now we have seen axes in the showcase, but could this indicate that axes are the only melee weapons within the game? Well, maybe, which I know will disappoint a lot of you, including myself actually, who are hoping to do melee builds, and others who are hoping to find a lightsaber reference in a melee weapon. Now of course we don't know for sure that axes are the only melee weapons in the game, this might just be an example, but it is possible and it does sound like that is the case. But anyway, with that said, let's move on. The next part reads, combat is fast paced with frequent gunfire, cries of pain and explosions. Attacks on some enemies can result in blood splatter effects and several environments depict blood stains on the ground around corpses. And of course I am sure this will make a lot of you very happy, since I know that a few people were very upset at the lack of blood and gore that we saw in this opening fight of Crete that I'm showing now. So it does sound like blood and gore have been added in since this gameplay was revealed to us. And the next part, which I'm sure is why most of you clicked on the video, the game contains some suggestive material in the dialogue and after sharing a bed with characters. E.g. life is a sexually transmitted disease that's 100% fatal. And I'm all for getting a little wild, but next time let's try it without the jetpacks. And talk about seeing stars, that was amazing. So yes, jetpack sex has been confirmed for Starfield, I guess. Which I'm sure will make many of you very happy. Now it does sound like we will be able to sleep with some characters of course, probably companions within the game because we know that we can build relationships with them, but I will say if you are into this stuff I would not get your hopes too high as the actual scene will likely just fade to black, unlike a game like Cyberpunk 2077 for example. And then after you fade to black you can wake up and say all of this stuff. But I do want to say that this, on top of the dialogue that we've already seen from Starfield before, does sound really good. Obviously some are very corny, more corny than others, but I genuinely think that the dialogue in Starfield already sounds a lot better than it did in Fallout 4, which is great. Next we actually got some pretty big confirmation on Aurora. A fictional drug, Aurora, is prominent in the game, with a section involving the player character working in a drug lab. Players can also obtain the drug Aurora by stealing it or buying it from vendors. Consuming Aurora results in a distortion effect on the screen. Now this sounds great, it sounds like Aurora will be sort of like Jet from Fallout 4, where if you take it, the visuals will change a little, rather than say Skooma from Skyrim, which doesn't really affect you all that much, at least in a noticeable way. But even further, it has now been confirmed that we can work in a drug lab. Now I've been saying for a while that I think the faction region industries, the faction within the game located on Neon, which we can join by actually passing a job interview for them, was a smuggling faction. But this statement has made me completely change my mind, maybe they'll still do some smuggling stuff, but now I'm fully convinced that region industries will be the guys who we work for in this apparent drug lab. And to back this up even further, Region Industries is located on Neon, of course, like I just said. The only planet in the Settle Systems that Aurora is legal on. And lastly, they do confirm that the words fuck and bullshit appear in the game, which is great if you swear as much as I do. Honestly, I'm a little surprised at just how much was revealed here. It doesn't sound like much on the surface, but it's actually quite a bit when you look at it and really break it down. I think it's pretty insane that we just got this pile of new information when we're only like a month away from Starfield Direct. 
Now, on top of all of this stuff, there was something else sort of hidden in the shadows. This same piece of information also confirms that there will be microtransactions, and if that is the case, Starfield will be the first BGS game to launch with microtransactions. And that will not only be a very, very bad look, I am actually quite concerned about this. After everything that's going on with Bethesda and Xbox at the moment, they cannot afford to fuck Starfield up. And honestly, launching with microtransactions is a quick and easy way to ensure that you do just that. Now look, it is still unclear if this is Creation Club or another kind of store, but either way, let's hope that this is just planned DLC or something and not a transaction store. My guess is that this is a planned Creation Club that maybe won't launch with the game, but might come very soon after Starfield's release. The issue is... One of the biggest concerns with Bethesda right now is that they've gone very greedy, especially after Fallout 76 and Elder Scrolls Blades. And I feel like launching Starfield with a creation club is just going to confirm that even more, if that makes sense. But anyway, look, that is going to wrap up the video, guys. I do apologise that this video feels very rushed and short and not as in-depth as I usually do. As I said, I have been awake since 4am with the world's worst migraine, and I had a completely different video planned for today, which will now be posted on Thursday. But yeah, I do apologise, but please do cut me some slack in the comments. I feel like crap, and I really just wanted to get this information out for you all, so you can all stay up to date with the game. Anyway, with that said, please do drop the video a like for me, it really does help out a lot, and of course if you are new to the channel, I promise the content is usually a hell of a lot better than this, consider subscribing, I cover everything Starfield here, and your support would really mean the world. Lastly, a big massive thank you to our channel members, as always, you guys rock, but with that said and done, thank you all so much for watching, and I really hope to see you next time. Peace.